Welcome back. I'm Jeff Byers, Annie 150, uh, Module 3. This is Part 7. And we are still working on our um, high poly model. So let's go ahead and keep working. Uh, we're going to go ahead and finish this piece up here. And uh, I honestly don't think we need to have this piece right here. Um, there's really nothing to see underneath. If we want to add more detail on there, we can. But right now, we're just going to leave it as is. Um, we could probably add more detail uh, in Substance uh, Painter if we needed to, or Mudbox. All right, so I'm going to get rid of those faces here. Nope, it's just that. It's just hard to it's hard to tell. All right, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and, and delete that. And let's do the lower part and delete that and the bottom part and delete that. There we go. All right, so we got that part done, completed. We're going to go to edge mode and we're going to go ahead and select the edge all around and it should select the whole thing. If not, you're going to have to go and make sure that you look and make sure you don't have any rogue vertices, meaning vertices that are by themselves. If you do, you have to select them and delete them. They're, they're going to give you trouble. Okay, so let's go into edge mode and double click on the edge. Okay, and I'm going to do do a Control E, and looks like the manipulator is right way over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and move that blue arrow in a little bit like that. Here we go. Okay. All right, just a little bit. And we're going to do it one more time. Control E and move it again. Okay. And uh, one more time. Control E and move it one more time in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. And we're going to do another Control E, Control E, and we're going to click on one of these cubes, and then in the center we're going to go ahead and scale that in. Now it doesn't scale in right, okay, because we've got we've got an odd shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Control Z back. I'm going to hit the R key, okay and I'm going to scale the whole entire thing in like that. Now you can see we're, we're kind of off a little bit and that happens. So we're going to kind of scale that in and you can see we're kind of going in and that's kind of scaling kind of wonky. Let me go back. Okay, let's go forward once. There we go. So we got that. Um, okay, let's get a little bit closer here. All right, let's do a control E again. And um, instead of the arrow, this arrow, let's go do this arrow. There we go. So the blue arrow this time. And we're going to pull it in. Just like that. Okay. And all we need is, is one edge that goes all the way around the object. And it looks like we got it. Okay. You see that little crimp right there. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Now, remember the thickness here. This is really important that we do the same for every uh, piece that we do. Okay, so I'm going to click off, click up, back on, and in this part right here, on the very back, we can uh, move this edge loop, or excuse me, this vertex. Let's see if we can move that down just down and over a little bit so we can get some thickness there. That's really important. Let's go ahead and hit all those that had that problem. It's usually the corners. Yep, they're way up there. And be careful what you're selecting. Just select one thing. You may want to go to the other side. Also when you select on a vertex you can hit the F key to frame it. Or excuse me, A. Well, that doesn't really work. F key. And it should frame it and I said should go ahead and move that down and over there we go 
And let's hit these other corners real quick. Make sure not to select anything else. That corner's okay. And this one's a little bit janky, but we'll get that. All right, we're gonna add one more. What? We need one more little guy here. There we go. So I'm gonna go into selection mode. Doesn't matter where on this outside edge that you are. So I'm gonna be right here. This is the the back of it. Hold the shift key, right mouse button, insert edge loop tool, and we're gonna insert that another edge loop right there. Okay. And that is it. That's how you finish your plates. Okay. So we're gonna do that for the rest of them. Okay. So when I hit the three key, this is what it looks like. You got a nice little plate here. It'll work really nice. I like that. Looks good. Now you see these little spots here. Um, we could probably fix those because what's happening is that those edge loops are too close together. And they do, at a certain angle, will create an illusion that there's a bump there or a crease there. You can see that kind of a little bit. So those can be fixed by separating those. Okay. Um, so I'm going to hit the, the one key. And to separate those, you have to do the painstaking work, which I'm not going to do in front of you because you would just get bored as heck. Painstaking part of going in here and moving those vertices over. Okay? Or those edge, edge loops over. The thing you could do to make things faster is you can click on an edge loop, right? And you can, you can slide it over. Okay, but the, the edge loop needs to be tight right here in this section right here. Those two, these vertices right here, they have to stay put. That's the key, all right? So what I want to do is I want to deselect, just hold the control key down, right? Like that. And I want to hold the shift key and right mouse button, go down to slide edge tool. And I showed you how to use this before. So now I can push that over, all right? Now, we need to have those two edges work. So I went too high, so I'm going to go ahead, or I went too low, I'm going to go up a little higher now. And now I can use that tool again. So let's try it again. Am I in the right one? Yeah, there it is. Go down the middle mouse button and just move it over. And that's how you can spread that stuff out. Same thing over on this one. I'm going to double click on that and just control key that and use the uh, I'm gonna hit the G key okay that that G key reinvokes your last command and so I'm gonna spread that out so when I do that you can see that hopefully it will soften that up a little bit right there okay and you can do the same thing for these right soften this these up a little bit right here so I'm gonna double click on that and um, and I don't really want to mess too much with this corner, so I'm going to marquee select these, right? And I'm going to go all the way over here. Again, um, I can, I, I can, you know, kind of spread that out a little bit. So the idea here is I'm going to hit the G key again and just spread that out a little bit more like that. I know it looks weird, but it really does help. And I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and hold the control key down. And again, hit the G key and spread that out like that. So you can just see I'm spreading that out a little bit. So um, anything that's really tight here will cause all kinds of problems. So I'm going to do this one over here. Okay. Again, I'm going to go up, hold down the control key, and hit the G key. And you can see I can just knock that out pretty quickly. Spread that out a little bit more. And that's just going to help with that part that we're having problems with. Okay, so you do that for all your pieces, the G key, and spread that out. And you can see that can really help with those edges. And again, we have a really pro we have a problem right here too as well on this edge where we don't really need to have this really tight edge here. Okay, we only need it right to support this area right here. So it's a bit of a conundrum. Um, whereas we have to probably control this out, right? Yeah.
make sure we don't have any of those, but the rest of this can be spread out, okay, which would help. So I'm going to hit the G key again, spread that out. You can see that really helps spread that out a little bit. And we'll do the next one here. Again, we're going to take this point out um, of here, okay, and hit the G key and spread this out. And it doesn't look like it spread this one out at all. At all. So I'm going to just um, double click on that and get rid of these. And we already spread this out. This worked out just great. So I'll spread that all out. There we go. And then we'll go over here. And then we just need to spread this out. There we go. Like that. Perfect. So I basically did this one right in front of you, and you'll have to do the rest yourself if you have issues like that. Um, and now when I look at it, much, much nicer, much cleaner, much better. Okay? All right? So you can do that. I see a little bit of, of creasing right here. You can move those over and, and continue doing that type of work where you need to. And just hit the three key to make sure everything's looking good. Okay? All right. Looking really good so far. I like that. Turned out really nice. Okay, very happy with that. That's one of our plates here. All right. So got that one done. And then now we're going to go into the next plate. And we'll make uh, really quick work of this. So the edge. And we're going to follow the same kind of um, edge that we have here. Okay? So, go to edge, double click on that, it should go all the way around, if everything worked out. And I'm going to do control E, alright, and we're going to go, and it goes all the way to the end here again. And so I'm going to look, I'm going to go into this, um, uh, so we can see our edges, there we go. And we're going to move that in. Okay, just kind of follow the same things you did with the other one. Control E, move, Control E, and move. I'm just using that arrow. There we go. And then Control um, E, okay. Ah, wish it wouldn't do that. Let's go back and use the blue to push it in. Just like that. Now, if you do a control E and you don't move the face or scale it, or you're, you'll have two faces on top of each other. Okay, that's not good. Okay, so let's just say if I go in here and go back, and I know if I pull that, I know that I did not extrude that. So I'm going to go control E, right? And if I don't do anything, I forget that I need to pull this out, you're going to have two vertices and two edges and two faces on top of that line and you won't even know it and that will destroy your polygon that's why it's so important that you really pay attention to what you're doing you don't step away after you do an extrude extrude you have to move or scale the edge otherwise if you don't you have just created and it's like duplicating an object now some of you have already figured out if you duplicate an object and you try to, and you have an, another duplicate underneath of it, occupying the same space and the same faces. And you texture one of the objects. It it looks like it's not working. It looks like nothing's happening, because you have a duplicate occupying the same space and the same faces and the same vertices. So you have to keep that in mind. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do three extrudes in, right? And then we're going to do an extrude and then pull it with or push it with the blue arrow, like that. That looks good. And then we, what would we do? We fix the corners. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fix all the corners. We'll come right back. Okay, I've got all the corners fixed. And now I'm just going to add another edge loop, just like we did in this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and insert edge loop tool and select that insert and insert that edge. There we go. Good. So I'm going to hit the Q key, and you can see that things are moving faster now. And we got this piece done. And that's a very large piece. Let's go ahead and select that and hit the 3 key and see how that looks. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the wireframe on, shade it off, 
and we got a nice another panel right here. Now notice that we still we we do see that same kind of pinching. Um, it may even look f totally flat, but you get you get this what's called yeah that pinching right, and that's just due to the fact that they're too close together. You have pieces that are too close together. So again, you know, I want you to go in there and spread those apart, like I showed you in uh, in the other with the other piece. Okay. So I'm going to spread the top part out and give you kind of a, a look at how I did it. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and then come right back again. Okay, so I'm back and I spread this edge. Again, I cannot touch this part right here, so I just got to select these. I just selected these up on top, right? And, and then I spread these apart. Now I couldn't spread this one out too much, so uh, basically just spread it out right there. And at the top, we can spread them out a little bit more, but you can see I spread this one out a little bit more and this one out a little bit more. So when I do go in here to do a smooth preview, which is three, you can see that they're not too close together. Okay, so that that's a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and click off and you can see it's much better it's much better than it was okay right so the whole idea behind all of this is that we get these plates now if the plates aren't thick enough we can all we can always change that let's say we click on this and hit the one key and uh... we oh i need oh i made a mistake here um, that was a mistake right there. Uh, let's go back into that one and deselect that. And hit the G. Whoops. Go to edge mode. I made a mistake here. I want I want that to be actually be to to hit that. I mean, we want that to be holding that edge together. So I'm going to go back in here and insert edge loop and bring that back that that should not have been changed there so I messed up with that let me, let me go let me control Z back um, let's go ahead and do that back again um, let's click on that and deselect that okay G key and then I can scale there we go now that that works that looks good. Okay. And of course, deselect all of this. Hit the G key and bring that back again. So there's a way of fixing your mess ups. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that looked kind of weird. Okay. So I'm going to hit the 3 key. That's much better. All right. So I got that fixed again. All right. So moving on to the next one, um, this guy right up here. And let's get back to one on that. Go into object mode and select this guy right here. All right, so I do want to add an ed another edge right here because we got a nice edge right in through here. I think that's where the gun is. Let's go ahead and go to shading, x ray on shaded. Yeah, we need to s kind of solidify that edge there. So I'm going to add one more edge loop right here, straight across. No biggie. There we go. And I really don't want this edge too close. Um, so I'm going to double click on this edge. Uh, I'm still in the tool, and that's the problem. Let's hit the Q key. There we go. All right, so I don't want that going all the way across. I just need that to solidify that. So I'm going to double click on that and just marquee deselect that. And see if th I can still hit the G key. Yep. And then, nope. Uh, it, oh, it remembers. Let's go back in here and again and let's go into slide edge tool. Okay, let's try that again. Alright. And slide edge. There we go. And slide that edge up like that. We'll go in the in between the two. So we got a nice tight edge right through here. It should work. And then we, we're solidifying that or supporting that edge there. So it should be good for everything. Hit the three key. There we go. And you see we got a nice little tight edge right here. I don't like this. That's too close together. Again, we can see that stuff. 
and we can fix it. So let's go in here and uh, we need this edge right but we need we need these set moved over a little bit so let's go ahead and double click on this one deselect all the way down to here I believe and all the way up to here yeah right here is good and we want to smooth that edge let's control Z back again and do sort of, uh, slide edge loop there we go. See if we can just pull that away a little bit. Do the same thing over here. Control that one. Control key that one. And then hit the G key and slide that over like that. There we go. Again, that's weird looking, but it will help with the pinching. I don't I don't like that. Hit the three key. There we go. And that got rid of it. So alright. So we're getting we're getting there slowly but surely getting there. Okay, so we're gonna go into make sure we're in one, and we're gonna go to the edge. Um, I don't know what's happened up here. We lost an edge up there, which is weird. Okay, so we need an edge. I think I'm gonna put an edge up there. Yeah, so I'm gonna go into insert edge loop and click on that guy right there and hit the Q key select off go into object mode let's try it again hit the the three key that's much better like that hit the one key and we're gonna go into edge and double click on that and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go into control E and we're going to move that in like that. I'm going to hit the wireframe on here so we can see it a little bit better. And control E again and move that in. Control E again and move that in. There we go. Looks good. And let's look around here, see if we see anything bad happening anywhere. Okay, and then we got one more, control E, and this time we're going to use the blue, okay, move that in like that, click off, and we need to fix those corners that look bad like this one. So I'm going to pause, I'm just moving these vertices around so they look better. And just make sure you just click on the one 